हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम एट इंग्लिश सॉल्यूशंस चैनल सो दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो फॉर सीनियर लर्नर्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस पोएट्री यू नो दैट पोएट्री इज गिवन ए हाई वैल्यू इन लिटरेचर ऑफ एनी सब्जेक्ट एंड इंग्लिश पोएट्री इज आल्सो वेरी ग्रैंड वाइड एंड इट इज हैविंग द टाइमलेस वैल्यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस सम statements given by the scholars and poets about the poetry first definition i would like to mention here that poetry is a criticism of life and the perfect form of utterance that human words can reach this is the definition given by matthew arnold arnold was a great scholar novelist and poet also and he according to him poetry is the criticism of life means poetry is not far away from life it is reflecting life and another very widely discussed definition is given by william wordsworth who was also regarded as the priest of nature the very pioneer romantic poet and he said poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in tranquility all the romantic poets were highly imaginative and they all were the lovers of the nature and in poetry imagination plays a great role another definition is given by carlyle that poetry is nothing but musical thought and one very valid and widely discussed statement that is taken from boswell and he was asking to mr johnson that what is poetry and johnson has very beautifully replied that it is much easier to say what it is not means in poetry expression symbolism contrast these all play a great role and again i would like to mention that poetry is related to the diction diction is the proper arrangement of words it create rhyme some poets prefer to write in the rhyming style and poetry and verse these are the two terms which are mostly confused by the common people so here i would like to mention that poetry and verse are not the same picking a story and telling in a verse is different to poetry means these two are not same as they are wrongly interpreted as same and poetry has three major elements first is imagination second is representation and third is interpretation so broadly poetry is divided in two kinds one is subjective poetry another is objective poetry and william wordsworth is regarded as the best objective poet and dramatist so further we will discuss about the types of poetry first is ballad ballads are the dancing song which were sung by the common people example is rhyme of the ancient mariner another is ode it is the form of address poem like ode to the nightingale and ode to the west wind sonnet is the 14 line poem it is having some melody also lyric is maintaining the rhyme and seriousness and epic is the long narrative poem like homer's iliad further elegy elegy is the lamenting poet and further we will discuss some more terms in this video that epic is divided in two categories first is epic of growth example is iliad by homer that is the one example of epic of growth second is the epic of art and example is aeneid by virgil and ballads are also divided in two categories one is folk ballad example is chevy chase second is literary ballad example is rhyme of the ancient mariner and one more term is important here that is the pastoral elegy in this the poet laments like a shepherd example is lesidas by milton adonis by pb shelley and thyrsus by matthew arnold and here i am big tempted to mention the one statement given by the great poet robert browning that man is not perfect man is born to become perfect by acquiring knowledge and power 
so through the literature one can reach to the intellectual heights and one more poet i would like to mention one of my favorite poets that is john keats he was an ardent admirer of beauty as he has written beauty is truth and truth beauty that is all means he was the lover of beauty and he believed actually he was also a very great romantic poet and he is labeled as a beauty mystic further it is his intellectual vision and spiritual passion that he writes a thing of beauty is a joy forever this line is quoted from his great epic endymion and in that the endymion was a shepherd who was searching for his, the moon goddess cynthia and then he saw the nature's beauty and he has mentioned the beauty that spiritual beauty is far far better than the physical beauty so this was a brief introduction of english poetry and in next videos we will be discussing more and more topics please keep watching like share and subscribe english solutions channel thanking you all